Hello and welcome guys, I'm XG and I'll be giving you some tips and tricks in Battle Riot. These tips are both for newer players and more advanced players, so tag along and let's get into it. Okay, so what do I mean by know your damage? Let's say you're playing Jade. Her snipe, right click, deals 38 damage. But with a specific battle right, your snipe can deal up to 44 damage, which is almost 3 quarters of the orb's health. Which means you can quite reliably get the orb every time. I don't know how many times I've seen a sheaf right clicking the orb in the middle with 30 HP thinking it will kill it, but it survives with 6 HP because he only deals 24 damage and this pisses me off. At least know your damage, please. This is really simple and it's really helpful. Don't be this moron trying to get the orb. Oh, and I have a bonus tip for you. Get. That. Orb. In Battle Right, you need to know the difference between a consume, a parry or a counter. The important thing to note here is that a consume absorbs the ability. With Older for an example, his consumes allow him to recast a consumed ability. And uh, for example in Esmo's case, he gets healed with a specific Battle Right if he consumes an ability. On the other hand, a parry or deflect redirects incoming projectiles towards where the player using the parry holds the mouse. Or if you're a melee champion and you use an out attack on it, you get damaged or stunned in Bako's case. And lastly, counters. Oh boy, counters are something else. Counters triggers when you get hit by a melee out attack or a projectile. The counters effect varies a lot and I can make a whole separate video on that topic if you'd like. But basically, it affects your champion's status and position in most cases. For example, Sirius gets teleported away and heals himself and nearby allies. Shifu goes immaterial for a split second. And many, many more. Okay, so Battle Riot has a lot of different champions. 21 if I remember correctly. So one of the best tips I can give you is try them out. I can't stress it enough. Go into the playground and just try every champion, every ability, every EX ability and try to remember them. This is a lot to take in, so don't try to do this in one session. Split them up or do as I did. When you hit level 6 with a champion, you get a golden chest. So what I did is I played every champion to level 6 one at a time and learned their skill sets. And at the same time I got a nice reward. This game is perfect for all you one tricks out there. I don't think there is a better game out there right now as good as this one and as rewarding for the one tricks. In Battle Right, you choose who you want to play and on which game mode you want to play, 2v2 or 3v3, before the game begins. So you're well prepared and always get to play what you want to play. This aspect makes the games perfect for one tricks. So if you're not a no life like me and doesn't have the time to learn every single champion out there, pick one or two champions you like and play the shit out of them. One tricking is probably one of the most reliable ways to climb the ladder, and one of the fastest ways as well. Timing. Timing is very important in Battle Right. A round can take anywhere from 40 seconds to 3 minutes, so time matters a lot, and don't waste it. I've talked a lot about counters, and there's much more to say about them. But almost every counter has two rules in common. The first one, the 8 second rule. If you see someone use a counter, you have every opportunity in the world to punish that person for the next 7 seconds. After that time, try to bait out the counter with a jade right click or something like that, and then repeat. The second one, the channeling. Every counter has a 1.2 second channeling duration, if they don't cancel it. And this is simple, just don't attack them for the duration. And some champions like Jamong can actually counter the counters by right clicking a split second after they start the counter. Since his right click has a 1 second charge time, uh, this will hit them as soon as the counter ends. Hope you all learned something in this video. If you liked it and want to support me, be sure to leave a like and comment your thoughts. And for future videos, subscribe. This has been XG and I'll see you out there mate.